All right, and with that, all of Blue Moon is basically liberated except for one location. Let's take care of this and finally uh, wrap things up here. Final battle is at hand. Destroy the factory pipe. Guess already? When did it get to the factory? Uh-oh. We're in trouble, aren't we? <laughs> You're a reckless little thing, aren't you? I hope you got an explanation about this for Hawk. And you, Flack, what are you going... What's going through that square head of yours? The factory's way too close to those silos. What happens if they get hit with a missile? Mm. Mm. I haven't thought about that. <laughs> well, those missiles won't even scratch my lash armor. Teehee. And that pipe seam is totally wrapped in the stuff. Let's open my factory and make with the misery. <laughs> I wouldn't worry, Adder. Seems like Lash has a plan. I can deploy any unit I want, right? This is gonna be wicked. I wonder if those two will be able to handle this. Grit! Are we ready? Grit? Yep. Yes, sir, boss. Ready when you are. Um, sorry to interrupt, Commander Olaf. The Commander in Chief of the Orange Star is approaching. Mm. And she brought a very low battery with her. Orange Star? Hmm, show her in. It's been a while, Olaf. <sighs> no. What brings you here uninvited? I did not request reinforcements. <laughs> nah, you didn't, but I sure did. Grit, why you no good? Are you familiar with the concept of chain of command? <sighs> Commander Olaf, Commander Grit only did what he thought was best for Blue Moon, sir. I know, boy, I know. Now shush. The grown ups are talking. This is a vital strategic location, and more importantly, Blue Moon is our valuable ally. Orange Star offers aid. Mm -hmm. Seeing as this is our territory, I'm a mind to send you packing. However, we are a bit short-handed, so I'll accept your offer. Yeah. Excuse me for interrupting, Commander Olaf. The troops are ready when you are, sir. <laughs> Very well. Let's not fall behind. Advance on all fronts. Brilliant work, Commander Grit. Seeing Blue Moon's danger and rallying the allies so quickly. What now? Uh, oh, oh, that. Anything to keep from getting shot up, son. Oh, uh... What? Sir, that was the reason? Really? Commander Grip, wait up, sir. Alright, so just like the end of Advance Wars 1, we are allowed to pick our COs. But this time, we're allowed to pick from both Blue Moon and Orange Star. I'm going to go with Grit for this. Howdy. Because I do want that long range, and just because I just like Grit. As for our second CO, because we do have to pick an Orange Star one, we can't pick two Blue Moon ones, unfortunately. I think we should give Sammy some love. Try to keep up. Max already finished up the first factory, and Andy helped us with that one mission earlier in the campaign. So, you know what? I feel like we should give Sammy some more love in this. Grit got the distance, and Sammy can hit him up close. All right. Reckon I gotta take to the field this time around. Now, let's see. If we can't send these boys packing. <laughs> a fight in the woods? We should... This should be a good opportunity to practice. All right, well, first and foremost, gotta get our troops on the ground because Sammy's force is already deployed. I'll save one of the bases for Sammy's forces so that way she can resupply. As for Grit's forces, let's focus on... Let's focus on getting these airports and these missile silos under our command. I do actually really like uh, the later... Uh, factory levels because it really does make you think of how you want to strategize going forward because you have to uh, contend with the fact that not only do you have one faction to uh, divert resources and buildings to but you also have to do it with the other faction as well.
Uh, boys, get a move on. Mm. I think we're gonna have you go up there to the silo and the property that's up there. I'm gonna give Orange Star the, uh, at least one of these uh, properties. But for the time being, I at least want to get that base under Orange Star Command. Gotta be careful because Slanish can also deploy three units at once, and uh, that's fun. just in case those recon society get a little too close to base. I think Sammy's forces should be able to handle them no problem, though. So, my go-to strategy for this is basically have Sammy's forces up here to keep Lash from taking that airbase, have Grit's forces over here to keep it from taking this airbase, and then slowly just start funneling the troops up here so I can get a uh, Grit a rocket unit up there, or artillery, probably, probably would be artillery, and just basically hit it from the side. Why you didn't send the stronger one out there to take on the recons? get an APC to start ferrying some of the troops over to the airport up there. But for the time being, nah. Oh wow, this is actually the first time we've seen the missile silo as a background. It's really nice, actually. Again, a little attention to detail is some, goes a long way in this game. And it's I, something I will always appreciate when devs do. 
Because I believe, if my memory serves me right, in the original Advance Wars 2, the silo didn't actually have a background to it. I might be misremembering it, and knowing me, I probably am misremembering it, but for the life of me, I believe it was that there was no, like, background for missiles, and it was just bases as a, a stand-in. here to the airport for the time being because I don't know if that recon uh, he can actually get over there. Well, damn. Hey, he's weak and the airport should provide significant protection against it, so we shouldn't have anything to worry about. Especially since he's hell-bent on taking out uh, Sammy's recon. And those guys are not having it easy. Those guys really aren't having it easy. units. Mm, nah, I think I want to save on that missile silo for a little bit later. Now that's a reason to, oh god. Ah. Now that right there is a reason to use a missile. I'm actually kind of glad you destroyed that because that means I can just fire with impunity up there now. Crap, I forgot I, I didn't send him over to the missile.
Gonna try to start sneaking an artillery around the corner to hit the pipe. Batteries hold out. This battle is far from over. Okay, what do I want to do about that tank? Hmm. Well, I feel like I'm going to lose this tank regardless. So. Not really much I can do with it, honestly. Those two are not really a threat. I could take out the recon. Or I could start hitting the... I'm going to go for the ant here. I just want to mitigate as much damage as I can when it inevitably goes for the infantry. And I need at least one of them alive to fire that missile. Then I hit it when I did, cause won't be doing much damage to it now. She calls me annoying. Damn, I was hoping it would be the mediums. I was really hoping it would be the medium. see where I can drop this thing. So right there, I unfortunately nuke one of my guys. They're gonna get hit regardless. I guess right there?
All right, uh, let's see. We're good on properties for the time being, so don't really need to deliver too many metrics to uh, secure them mainly. So what I think we're gonna do is just keep trying to sneak that artillery piece to the to the back corner. Just barely. But thankfully, now you should be in prime range of that artillery. Of course, you're off by one. Tempted to just use Sammy's ability to try and hit it with the mech. Just want to be sure. Can never be too careful. I, you know what? I'm dumb. I should have taken out the infantry instead of the max. I could have used the artillery to take out the max. Oh well, already committed. Honestly, the best case scenario to pick Sammy for this level because I guess Andy would also be a good choice, but with Sammy's units, you, you're not going to be getting a lot, so you're going to really need to rely on her infantry to help support you. else I can really do, so let's just call it. Two more shots. Okay. At this point, I think it might just be worth it to just let it waste the last of its ammo. Yeah, that's not going to do anything to it.
so tempting. So, so tempting. If they can survive this, I will do it. That way we can just start taking all these properties away from Lash. I need to start cutting her off financially. And I, for I forgot to move my tank. can hope for is that she does not spawn an APC up there, because otherwise it's going to be a guaranteed refill of all that ammo. Uh, go away! Why'd you have to ruin such a perfectly good plan? I don't know about you, but Lash has officially gotten on my last nerve. as I want to, didn't really have an option to do it now. The thing I can think of right now is try to just like race this battlecopter up here and hit it from this side and just do as much damage as I can. Man, had she not put that anti-air vehicle right there, I would have had... Oh, you got it. Okay, it's on that side. Doesn't matter. We got this. Had she not put that anti-air vehicle there, I would have been able to just take so many properties from her. Is it the rockets? It's the rockets. Very right, cool. No more ammo for you. You are done for.
Uh, you know what? I, I could have had a good play there. Damn. All right, you know what? The hell with it. Now it's my turn. Victory march. Man, had I not put that artillery piece right there, I could have taken that property in one turn. Yeah, you know what? Nope. I was going to take the property, but I'd rather just take you out in one hit. What? No reinforcements? Cool. And this is what I would have said. We got one more day. It's not one HP, but I'm still upset. Let's I'm I'm breaking this thing. I'm done. Give me a break. We lost again? Retreat, retreat, retreat! for us <laughs> yes a victory for our army a victory for blue moon such a beautiful day the emotions and Olaf. Wow. He even cries big. uh huh more than anyone else I know the boss lives for his country those are tears of pure joy really Commander Olaf is truly a great leader, of course. You as well, Commander Grit. Eh. Cut that out, Colin. I ain't used to anyone seeing my praises. Yes. Colin's right. In fact, you both are great commanders. You're the mold of what make uh, what great CEOs are made. You're the children of Blue Moon. You're my children. Your children? You're trying to scare little Colin here half to death? Howdy there. Howdy, Sammy. Listen, I want to thank y'all for being so neighborly and helping us out. The war is going to drag on a bit, so we'll return the favor someday soon. <laughs> well, about time I hit the old dusty trail. <laughs> uh, Commander Grit, wait for me. <laughs> Thanking others for their goodwill is nothing to be shy about. The ability to express gratitude is as beautiful as the aurora itself, Grit. Colin. It looks like peace has finally returned to Blue Moon. Yeah. The CEOs get along well, don't they? They look like a happy family. Oh no. You think so? They look a bit dysfunctional to me. <laughs> Blue Moon's safe and sound. Let's head for home. That's it. Perhaps I can finally get some shut eye. <laughs> After that battle, I definitely need a nap. Eh. <laughs> 